Louisiana Beer Reviews, Labatt Ice, 5.6% alcohol, 24 ounce can. Labatt Ice was introduced in 1993 and it was the first ice beer in North America and it set off the ice beer craze of the 90s. Labatt is an Anheuser-Busch brand these days. Actually, InBev. Um, gets an average rating on Beer Advocate. The bros give it a poor rating, but with only 56 reviews. Gets a 4 out of 100 on Rate Beer and a 36 out of 100 for the style. Um, which is adjunct lager. Um, they have a, a, over 100 reviews or ratings on Rate Beer. I've never had this before. Uh, someone requested that, that I do a Canadian beer on today. June, July 1st, 2012, which is Canada Day, formerly known as Dominion Day, which in which they celebrate the establishment of Canada in 1867. Okay, let's get started. This was the only Canadian beer I actually had. All right, some smoke coming out that can. Got to be careful it doesn't spill because these have a tendency to spill. Okay, well, typical American style lager, thick white head, uh, yellow golden bubbly appearance, not super bubbly, but bubbly. I don't know if it's showing up, the light in here is not terrific. Uh, let's go with the smell test. As one would expect, get the uh, red stuff is on this cap. Get a thick, I mean a um, rich, <laughs> got distracted by that, um, kind of a rich uh, malt liquor type aroma, <sighs> sweet indistinguishable grains, probably corn with barley. Not a bad aroma though. Um, of course you gotta like these type of ice beers. Let's go with the taste. Really sweet, rich, Some corn, like a sweet corn, cream corn, malt, not a whole lot of uh, hops really at all. Uh, get sort of an underlying malt liquor -y alcohol. maybe semi-cloying uh, undertaste. Decent amount of lacing though. Um, the mouth feel is it's pretty light and watery and the finish is crisp, clean. It's refreshing, it's very dry. Um, well, for our uh, ice beer, it's right up there with your Ice House, Bud Ice, um, Molson Ice, um, those type of things. The Bud Ice you gotta watch out for because sometimes it'll be in the clear bottle and that can cause it to be skunky. You wouldn't have to worry about this situation in a can. I think it's pretty inexpensive. I bought that in New York City. I think it was a dollar twenty, something like that. Dollar twenty-five, maybe. Um, 
how would I rate this? All right, let's see. It's pretty enjoyable. Um, it is what it's made to be, an inexpensive, um, higher, relatively higher alcohol beer. It would go, I think it would go very well with a, uh, with a Canada, Canada Day, Dominion Day picnic, barbecue. It's not a very challenging or complex beer. It's just a simple, easy drinking, mass produced beer. And um, I would give it a B plus. I think it is very good. Uh, it, it has some little problems to it you're going to encounter with uh, an ice beer. But Those are minimal, and I think the upside for this is a lot more, you know, you get a lot more upside than downside, so they did a good job with it, they do a good job with it, um, it does feel nice going down, and overall I think it's just a very good beer, I, I, if they sold it around here and it was inexpensive, which of course it is, I would buy it, and um, I would recommend it, so keep up the good work, International Beverages. Laissez les bon temps roulé. This is a very good beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, go over and visit Canada.